My name is Matteo Voltan and I'm the founder of Hydrotech Growth. We knew about hydroponics because of our uh, big, big passion in plants. We actually don't come from an agricultural background. I personally study economics and uh, I was here in Uganda to do other, com completely other things. But uh, combining our passions, combining our knowledge in the food and beverage industry, we managed to come up with an idea about uh, this. And uh, for example, one of the big advantages is that in a very small piece of land, you can have a very big output of, in terms of yield, in terms of quantity and stuff like that. So, of course, uh, you know, instead of like going for a project that uh, aims at crop, I don't know, growing corn or potatoes or stuff like that, that really makes you wait years and before you see your uh, yield, it takes a lot of toll, a lot of, uh, it's very, very hard. Hydroponics is very simple. In uh, 50 days, if not less, lettuces are ready from seed. So it is a very high quality crop because your inputs are very low and uh, it is very easy to handle. Instead of having to think about uh, thousands of things in a, such a big land to get little out of it, this minimizes the inputs to maximize the outputs and it also reduces the level of difficulty. Basically from seed uh, to the actual full harvest, it takes a little bit more than that. According to the variety, it can take between 30 days to 45 days. Uh, on average, I would say 40 days. But the beauty of hydroponics and especially of our setup is that we don't put our seed where we, in the final position where it will be harvested as a plant. So a lot of the time or the lifespan of the plant, it's actually going to be spent in seedling trays. Actually around 18 days are spent in seedling trays. A seedling tray can contain 200 plants in one single seedling tray. So that of course will will outsource your space to another, uh, like outside, let's say, of your hydroponic setup. So in this way, already we are saving 18 days. So yes, you're right in the sense that once they come here, they stay here for around 25 days. So of course, this help, this, this makes you have like 20, uh, like, like, sorry, like 15 or 16 crops per year, uh, which is quite crazy. Like uh, in uh, traditional agriculture, this would be completely impossible. And uh, a continuous supply of a consistent product is what our clients want. This ranges from restaurants to supermarkets, hotels and stuff like that. So we can harvest daily and we can, of course, like to harvest daily, you have to plant daily. So every day we plant and then every day we also harvest. So that's the beauty of it. So the seeds, we actually get them from uh, a local supplier, uh, which is called House of Seeds. And uh, they've been our suppliers of seeds since the very start of uh, this project. And as you can see, the germination is completely crazy. Like uh, we, these days we have 100% germination in our, in our system. And this, I would say, is uh, mostly thanks to the quality of the seeds the House of Seeds can provide to us. For other things like cucumbers, as we said, tomatoes, Hydroponics can really be a good solution to water, uh, water and land scarcity, which some would argue are not still in Uganda as challenges, but they will be 100%, especially the more population grows and Uganda is a very fast growing population and the more intensively agriculture is going to be. So learning how to grow without soil and learning how to grow in a system that saves water. Like for example, we save 95% of the water compared to a traditional soil-based system is imperative nowadays.